How to use Lucidchart in 2023, tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Lucidchart. So let's get into it. Now, Lucidchart is a very amazing platform that enables you to solve your complex issues and create a multiple software integrated business or mind map, which can allow you to operate your day to day, which can allow you to operate your personal stuff. If you have a project you're working on, if you have an idea or concept that you want to actualize, this can help you in all of those things. So let's get into it. Now, Lucidchart is available for free and to sign up, simply head on over to lucidchart.com and click up on the sign up for free on the top right over here. So once you click on sign up now, you're simply going to go on ahead and click on start for free on the left side of your screen over here. So if we click on sign up for free over here, you can create your account by your email or you can continue with Google as well to shorten the process of signing up. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account over here. And once I continue on over here, you can see it takes a couple of seconds to go on ahead and register your account. And once you've done that, this is going to be your home page. So in your home page, uh, you'll be able to see your home and some recommended templates. Then on the left side of your screen, you will be able to see documents and you can share documents over here you can also share them with other users as well then you also have your templates now in templates it allows you to create mind maps or you know brainstorming ideation business strategy solution design product development educational design so they have quite a few different templates that you can get started with and you can pick out a template to go on ahead and build on so uh let's continue on with a example template and then build our own lucid chart from beginning so I'm going to go in all templates and you can see there are quite a few different options. So we have this very popular template, which is the vision board. Now in your vision board, you can just open this up and I will click on use template over here. And once I click on use template over here, it's going to take a couple of seconds for the template to be loaded. Now you can see over here, this template is now loaded up. Now I can choose to expand this as well. I can expand it as well and you can see this has like images in it but if you need images you can keep them if you don't then you don't need them now what you're going to do is uh if you want to create you know like a mind map or something this is like a yearbook template but if you want to create your own stuff what you can simply do is click on the shapes over here and you can see you have standard shapes you have create a diagram key and then you have this diagram key and you can expand it over here like so and then people can select the correct option and you can choose multiple different options in this with multiple different uh you know fonts as well now after you do this you place your diagram key over here and you have the body text then you can click on this section over here where you can use multiple different containers to hold your diagram keys as well now not only that but you can also link data from the left side of your screen now let's take a different template where it's going to be uh, a little more easier for you guys to understand so if we have something like brainstorming and ideation where we want to build you know ideas so we can uh, take a look at this idea board over here and click on use template and this will generate a very generic kind of idea board template and i'm just going to wait for this to load up on our screen and this is the uh, little template now once I have this uh, over here, I can go on ahead and put in any text. So uh, I can enter the text. What are my ideas? So if I'm on a project and I want to manage that project, I want to, you know, uh, start a business and I'm doing this with a couple of investors and I want to, you know, with a couple of business partners and we're all investors as well. So I can create a board like this for my idea board and then I can enter the ideas over here. So I can create ideas like this. And if someone likes the idea, we can move it to the to do, then the doing, then the done, so on and so forth forth and the best part about this is that it will allow you to create a visual diagram of everything that you want to display now if you want to create a lucid chart from beginning you can click on new over here and you have two options you have lucid spark and then you have lucid chart we're going to continue on with lucid chart because that is what we were looking to do uh, we're looking to create a mind map but if you go into lucid spark over here and click on blank board over here this is more so for uh, accomplishing tasks and, you know, uh, fixing on that. 
but if we go on to lucid chart it's more so real time now you can also click on hyperlink share as well and you can click on share and share this with other people that you want to collaborate with and let's say i want to create a mind map of some, some notes that i took so i can go into the standard um maybe i'm going to go on ahead and click on containers and you have containers you have uml use you have state activity of smart containers you have flow charts and let's say i want to create a flow chart like this they can click on over here drag and drop it and then resize the container as well like so so i'm just going to resize it like this like so and i'm just going to zoom out a little just so i can size it a little better so i have this little section and now once i zoom in let's say i have three lists of so maybe I'm tracking, you know, scores for my school football team that I can have my top players, my goals, my penalties. And then uh, maybe I want to create a second section where I want to be able to monitor, you know, other things that are happening. So for that, I can go back into this shapes and I can click on this arrow shape or I can click on, you know, any of these arrow shapes. You have a bunch of different ones available and we can just click on over here and build a arrow and the arrow can go down over here and maybe we can create a second a chart which is called uh, a flow chart which would be called potentials or you know for weaknesses or strategies so on and so forth so we can create a text block like this where we can create a diagram key text block sticky note hotspot line or text so let's say i just want to create like a basic mind map so i can just create this i just want to create a circular diagram over here this one and i'm just going to resize it like so i'm going to place it right over here maybe i want to place it right in front i'm just gonna, going to place this one right over here and here and then maybe i want this to link not to the penalties but to the gold so i can uh, move it over there as well or maybe i have the difficulties and strength or whatever of a specific player so i can link this arrow directly to that player as well so in this way you can see we have a lot of use cases of lucid board and once you have done creating you can simply click on file and click on save over here rename this uh, so we can click on save and save it in your lucid dream plus you can also share this document via email as well and duplicate it as well so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question